Good afternoon. My name is Gabrielle Stritch. I'm an attorney, mediator, and collaborative lawyer. And today I'm going to talk to you about children and divorce. Obviously, this is an area that is of great concern to all parents thinking about divorce, as it should be. So I'm going to give you some suggestions of do's and don'ts so things go smoother for you and the children. First of all, what not to do. Don't discuss divorce in front of the children. If you need to talk about something, go to a neutral place. I suggest a diner with those real high back chairs so you can have a little privacy. So you'll have to be civil and talk in normal voices, and that's a good thing. You should not keep secrets through the children. Don't tell the children, oh, we're going away this weekend to a secret place. Don't tell your dad. No, that's not good. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put the children in the middle. Will you tell your dad that if he doesn't return such and such in the bag next time, he won't get visitation? No, you don't want to do that. I hear all these things all the time. So what do you want to do? Well, um, you want to coordinate on telling the children. You want to ideally tell them together in a fashion that's neutral and doesn't portray either one of you as the bad person, just that it's not working for you to be married to each other anymore. You want to assure the children that it's not their fault. This is about mom and dad not wanting to be married, not that the children did anything to make this happen. On the contrary, both of you really love your children and you'll continue to love them throughout the process and after you're divorced. You wanna tell them that there's some good things that will happen, that they'll each get their own room, that they'll get double celebrations of birthdays and other events. They'll be able to decorate a new room. They'll have opportunity for new friends. You want to explain to them, you're still going to be their mom and dad, and you're still going to be a family. It might be a little different shape to the family, but you'll still all be a family. And you'll be able to work like one together. Everybody is concerned that the children are comfortable and can be listened to with any questions or anything about their feelings. And when I say listen, you know you're listening when you're able to feed back in your own words what you think the child is telling you and they agree that that's their question or their comment. That's called active listening and there are many wonderful books on that. So I can assure you that if you follow these kinds of do's and don'ts, then you'll find that children are amazingly resilient and can come through this divorce and be healthy and happy adults. So if you're looking for a lawyer that understands children and considers the care of them very important, call Gabrielle Stritch at Stritch Law Firm. Thank you.